What's up, everybody? Sean here with uh, We Speak, You Listen with my first ever food review. It's going to be a little homage to another famous channel, uh, but with our spin. Um, that, of course, is a, a pizza re review this time, and I'm going to use the same type of uh, point scale um, that that show would use, a 1 to 10. Um, but with, with the decimal point, you got to do the decimal point with pizza. So, you know, if I ever do a real pizza place, um, it would be the same scale, but um, this is going to be an at-home pizza, of course, microwave. Uh, and the reason I decided to do this specific pizza as the first was I just felt like a thin crust. And uh, went to the store tonight on the way home, saw this, and said, you know what? Let's just uh, grab this, see how it is, try it tonight, and, um, you know, give a review for it. So that is, of course, um, I never had it before, uh, DiGiorno Thin Crust, uh, Thin Crisp. Crispy crust, um, pepperoni. Um, I figured they made a thin crust. I never had the thin crust. I only had the big oven pizzas or the smaller, regular, non-thin crust style uh, by DiGiorno, uh, the microwave ones. But this was supposed to be a thin crust. So um, this was, uh, what was this, $5, I think, or four or something. Um, so, you know, I was like, eh, whatever. But uh, I said, Let, let's give it a run. And, um, it came out, um, looking like this. So the timing, you know, I'm not sure of the wattage of the microwave I was using, uh, but it's fairly new. But, um, so I did it for the middle time, which was three minutes. It wasn't enough. I added another 30 and then an another 15. So I did 345. Um, and, uh, I didn't want to burn it. I didn't want to do it too much, but, um, I just said, let me try that and see what it is. I haven't really touched it yet. I put the knife down the middle just to spread it, but I haven't really felt the actual dough or anything yet. It doesn't look super crispy, but um, from, but uh, I was like, I, I think it's done. So it looks a little doughy, but in a good way, but it's this thick, you know, it says thin, crispy crust. Maybe that's hard to do in a microwave setting. And this should have, would have probably been crispier in the oven, obviously, but, um, and only six pepperonis, I guess, where they're laying it makes sense but i thought maybe you'd have more than that but well uh there, there is six in the picture so but um let's try a half of this here and uh it's like elio's kind of a double elio's not as thick obviously but it is a little a little uh hard to it you can feel it but it's thicker than you would think a thin crust is but um i'm gonna do more than one bite obviously a couple bites here and uh give a quick score first ever uh, food review here, pizza review. Here we go. Mm. So the dough is a little different. I wouldn't say thin crispy it probably gets crispy in the oven but here it's just different than a pizza it's thicker than most microwave pizzas it's good quality it didn't get burned it didn't get hard it didn't get anything that you wouldn't want um, but it's not it's not crispy but it's it's fine um for a microwave pizza it's one of the better ones i can remember i always have mama celeste usually but you know this is good this is um you know, I'm going to have one scale for all pizzas, so it's going to be hard for a microwave one to do great. But theoretically, it could probably get an eight or a nine if it was a microwave one was amazing. But um, I'll give this I'll give this a 6.3. You know, I would say that I've definitely had pizza in restaurants. It's worse. Absolutely, a pizza in a restaurant or delivered. Worse than this, so... You know, this is, um, you know, right now, if somebody said, you know, you want that or do you want, you know, the ones you've always had, Mama Celeste or whatever, this is up there. You know, I used to really like Elio's, but that had to be in the oven to really be perfect. So that, this would be better in the oven too. This is better than Elio's. This is better than Mama Celeste probably. This is good. This is, uh, you know, can't think of every microwave pizza I've ever had right now, but it's up there. It's one of the best ones, you know, for sure. I usually get pepperoni or plain sometimes the supreme but then you got too much things in there and with the microwaving it doesn't come out great so but i'd say 6.3 for this solid 
for for a microwave option. Um, I think it's new. I don't know how long they've been selling these or how many people have had them, but um, it's it's a good option. It, it's a good option if you're gonna do an oven. I think this will come out like uh, a pizza place, thin crust, in the oven. But here it's good. Solid dough. Pepperoni's good. Sauce is the sauce they always have. And they, they have good cheese. You know, I had to microwave it more than the instructions say. Because I did 345. It says the most you should have to do it is 330 for whatever the wattage is. But I did the three minutes first, added the, the second part. But it came out pretty well maybe could have used a little bit more time but it's good so um like this video subscribe if you haven't already um follow us on facebook and uh you know we look forward to captain marvel this week a, a bunch of other reviews coming up soon and um stick right there we're five weeks from wrestlemania so uh, keep watching the videos and keep liking and subscribing peace